It's a very difficult moment, isn't it? We're doing it for the viewers, mm. Carl. Yeah, we are. You asked <laughs> us to face our fears. And we've already seen Dickie take on a, a roller coaster. Uh, Tim battling his fear of heights. So it is Georgie's turn mm. this morning. Apparently I said I'd get up close with um, snakes. Deadly snakes. Deadly snakes. <laughs> But, um, jokes aside, I'm actually really Cheers. sweating and feeling a little bit anxious here. So good morning, Matt. <laughs> Mick. <laughs> Mick. I nearly said Matt. Zach and Mick. Okay. Sorry. Hey, Mick, <laughs> I want to say this too, uh, um, and I hope you don't mind me interrupting because I know you are nervous. But this is this is how people with with anxiety and fears mm. actually do react. This is a proper fear for Georgie. So it's no it's no laughing matter. Yep, we understand um, that. Um, how do you? convince people that, that it is OK and how do you relax people to overcome this fear? Um, look, it's, it's really about our programming from the, from the past and, and certainly 40, 50 years ago being bitten by a snake could have been a lethal experience, very, very different today uh, and the snake is actually quite non-threatening and quite intriguing. And what I've got here... Oh, Mick! That's, that's what we call a children's python, oddly enough. This is the entry-level snake. If you wanted a pet snake, this would be the one. Uh, beautiful little snake, quite harmless, it's got some tiny little teeth but um, uh, quite easy. Would you yeah. like to? Would you like nah, to have just a little to touch? Can I just say, do you know, I, it's not like I've had a bad experience with snakes. Yeah. I, yep. I've never touched one. I've never. Yep. But I just don't like them, and I'm yeah. sorry because I, I'm sure you people, think they're amazing. Look, a lot of people pick up um, this sort of stuff from uh, relatives, grandparents, that sort of stuff. Okay. Um, they're frightened, and it's very easy to transfer. Look, I'll, I'll give that one so to it's Zach. An inherited phobia, potentially. It can be. Yes. Or is it just it ignorance? Oh, a little bit of ignorance too, I think. Um, I we know tend a lot to give about snakes human super, snakes. Super, superhuman prowess and whatnot. We think that they're more intelligent and they're out to get us now. Oh, what that's I've, a biggie. What I've got here is a, a similar sort of thing, but yeah. just proportionately oh. larger. Now, believe it or not, this is actually a juvenile snake. This is about oh, three years oh. of age. <laughs> <laughs> Just hide behind the bushes. Yeah. This, is a, this is about three years of age. This oh. snake will end up growing to about 100 kilos. This is the world's second largest species, and this really is a juvenile. Now, oddly enough, a lot of people would argue that this is one of the world's deadliest snakes because it can kill you very quickly. Strangle a big you. adult, yes, can stop you from breathing in about three or four minutes. <sighs> but in the big scheme of things, we classify this one to be harmless whereas the snake that Zach's got in here is actually ranked number four in the world for strength of venom. This, this is the eastern tiger phobia. snake. No, I don't like um, snakes. This is the species that killed more Australians than any other in the early days uh, when uh, Colony Australia first started. This is the tiger snake. This one is actually quite a Zach. beautiful, beautiful specimen. Studio well, two, please, bro. What Zach's going to do <laughs> is actually milk that snake for us. So he's going to restrain it carefully on so that right nice... So right now that is filled with venom. That's correct, yep. Ooh. We've got a shot shot glass here covered with a little bit of plastic. Uh, I've already had a couple of bourbons this morning. But <laughs> what we're going to do, we're going to get Zach to this. get that snake to bite on the jar and we might Could be able spray? to even... Could it... No, 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 no. What we're looking for here is two or three droplets oh. of venom. And you, you oh, can have a close disgusting. look there, George. You can have a, a really close look. Now, the reason we milk snakes at the reptile park uh, is to produce the raw material, the venom itself, course, to, which the then becomes yeah. the anti-venom George, product. George, I want you to know one thing. What? I'm of... here for you. Yeah. yeah. Now, as always. While this is a very, very dangerous animal, this one's actually <laughs> saved far more lives than it's ever taken. Uh, and this one's actually fairly calm and relaxed. He's been with us at the reptile park for several years. Oh, yeah. He's quite a reliable milker. milker and mm -hmm. if we can get a close yeah. shot there, we can even see a couple of droplets of venom in the bottom of the jar. That uh, yellowish fluid, that's sufficient to kill two adult humans. OK. Wow. So, um, so that's good. While this uh, boa constrictor slowly um, takes the life out of you, Mick, <laughs> um, uh, can we move back to Georgie? I mean, are you feeling better now? Well, marginally. Do you want to have a little touch? It is, it feels, Is that the it, way to start? Yeah, it feel, actually feels quite lovely. It's not cold, it's not wet, it's, it's not, not slippery, slimy. Is it? No, it's it feels not. like that pair feels of shoes you've got. Yeah, it feels a little <laughs> bit like an orange. We often uh, people often say an orange. Um, and Actually, believe it, does it or feel not, a bit like an orange. we yeah. get more body language from a snake than you would get from a dog. Most people are familiar with a dog or a cat when they're a bit cranky or anxious or whatever. We actually get more information from the snake. Uh, it's a matter of learning to read that body language, and that's that's what we're pretty just good at here. Just a tiny head, park. hasn't it? It has indeed. And look, we might even just have a quick look and see if this one is is a boy or a girl. Oh. Oh, no. In fact, 
It's this, a breakfast show. This one is a female. <laughs> and we can tell with a big python by looking at what we call the spurs. Now, that's all that remains of her hind legs. Tens of millions of years ago, no big snakes. We had a lot of monitor lizards. So we can sex a python very easily okay. by looking at those little spurs. Um, Georgie, talk us through. Uh, you, you've, have you broken down a few barriers? Well, I've touched it. You That's feel more start, comfortable, yeah. yeah. Um, do you want to have, make a, your very do you have a bit of it on your lap or anything well, like that? Just um, have a little just, feel? Maybe just no? start. No, just, maybe just, just start. Just, just like a little bit. Of, just, 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 just keep just the snake like away that. from That's, it. That's just a little bit. Tail. Now, <laughs> you're actually doing a fantastic job because that is amazing. the dangerous end, George. Most, that's the dangerous end. Most people are worried about the teeth, but this one never bites. Yeah. It's got dreadful diarrhoea, but it never ever oh, bites. Oh, that's gross. So, <laughs> Georgie, get closer. <laughs> Quite beautiful. You can feel the ribs. Uh, uh, lovely animals. And the Burmese python is renowned for being a very passive species in captivity. This is the one that's always used in films and the, the old Tarzan movies, the Jungle Book. All right. Uh, every rock to, and roll film that to, you've ever seen. So I'm going to it, it, it's You're very not going to hurt you. Very calm, very, very Come on, relaxed. Georgie, go. Um, Everyone behind Georgie now. Right now, the this, this snake's not threatened, not frightened. It's not thinking about food. It doesn't find you a threat at all. Oh, I don't fact, like the way it moves. If anything, you're actually assisting to keep the snake Calm. Warm, nice and warm. Oh. Do, you think it could do you think it can feel my tension, though? No, it can't feel your tension. It can feel your body I can feel heat, your tension, and that's actually you? quite nice for the snake. It needs to be about 30 degrees, so, uh, <laughs> you know, you can lie in the sun, you can lie on a warm rock, or you can snuggle up to a TV presenter. That's, uh, those are the Well, the that definitely ways. won't be happening. <laughs> 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 gee, this gee, is gee. something that happens on, at the reptile grab... park all the time. People overcome their fears. They come up and see us. <laughs> they, they walk in the door. They're a little Here bit she horrified. Goes. By the end of the day, oh, they're, they're, having a, they're having a snake photo. And that's, uh, Look at you go. That, that's oh, fantastic. Oh, oh. That's, now, that, that's really, really nice. The snake's adjusting, a, adjusting mm. its tail. It's not trying to hurt you or bite you or anything oh. like that. And uh, it's actually quite calm and relaxed with you. You are game. Yeah. You're a game, G yeah. Gardner. No, Mick, you're lovely. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, but only Burmese. Zach you've had. didn't get a mention. That's uh, lovely. Yeah. Oh, Zach, <laughs> Zach, I'm in awe of what you've just done with getting the venom out of that tiger Look, snake. Each, each um, year in Australia, about 300 lives are saved by the yeah. anti venom yeah, program. Yeah, it's and a no very important point. This guy okay. here is are you ready for the hand yet? For it. I'm getting. Yeah. I'm. I'm well, just grab you more and more and more. Don't do it if you don't want to. All I'm thinking yeah. is I wish I had a manicure because you keep taking mm. close-ups of my fingers. Yeah, <laughs> That's all right. Look, oh, I'll, I'll keep the head over the gee, here. It's but heavy. It is indeed. This one's about 15 to 16 kilos, hatched out of an egg that weighed about 100 grams. Oh, it's grand, wrapping so. around my leg. <laughs> it is indeed. <laughs> You okay? Oh no, it's not. <laughs> it's wrapping <laughs> around the leg of the chair. That's it. Yeah, oh. it just likes to anchor itself, so it feels safe and secure. Okay. Does so, it feel so heavy? You, it feels what, heavy and it feels like it's, it's yeah, it's extremely powerful. heavy. Yeah. What do you um, what do you think I should do? Put it around my neck. You could you could put it across your shoulders, and it certainly won't hurt you at all. If you'd like, I'll help you yeah. a little bit. So, well, if you just lean forward just a little bit, yeah. See, I we'll wouldn't pop do you, that. Pop you there. Now oh. that. You that's, okay? You that's okay? pretty much that's okay? it. That's the whole thing. I reckon thing. just keep the head away. Yeah, we'll keep the good. head away. Oh. So yeah. that's actually is, uh, th that's the whole experience. That is the snake around what the What about head? this lady and, here? And, and, yeah. Is that enough now? And oddly enough, we didn't we didn't start with the little one. We've gone straight to the big one. So congratulations. <laughs> that's uh, oh, that's incredibly God. well done. Well, time is of the essence. You <laughs> know, it's live TV and all that. Yeah. <laughs> Can we just hurry this, this scary thing up? Um, yeah. Okay. Well, I. I've done it, yeah, I think. Yeah, you've had enough. That's I think fantastic. I've done it. Yeah. Fantastic. Oh. Now, oh, yes. if you'd like to do that at home, come up and see us at the Reptile Park. This is the kind of thing we do. And I have a right fears. through the store holes we're there and all of yeah. these sort of things happen. So, uh -huh. yeah. we'd love to see you all up well, there. Well, I'm actually, um, <laughs> well I'm, I'm quite proud of myself, I've got yeah. to tell you. Big round of applause for <laughs> Georgie, everyone. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, well, look, we'll leave you for this one. No, Zach Mick, and I Mick, are going. No, 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 Mick, thank you. Thank you, done. Done. Yeah. Boy, it's heavy. <laughs> it is indeed. Yeah. Well done. It's, well done. Right. it's locked onto the chair. There we go. All okay. done. Congratulations. Oh, thank you. Phobia yeah. busted. Thank well you. done. Thank you. Gee, Gardner. Um, well done, darling. Well yeah. done. Yeah. Hey, um, uh, uh, join us tomorrow when I overcome my fears of a stiff breeze. <laughs> it's going to be very, very good TV. <laughs> I'm scared of everything. <laughs> Anyway, yes. something's good. The previous coming. idea was a five star hotel. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Or business class, <laughs> don't you? Wasn't that the Dickie said? Anyway, Zach and Mick, thank you so thank much. You. Pleasure. 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 How good was that? And if you have a fear at home, let us know what it is and then um, how you've gone in trying to overcome it. There's plenty of um, tick, tick, tick that yeah, box. Yeah, you have tick mm. that box. You don't have to do that again for another couple of years.